Alright, what's going on guys? It's Crix here and today I've got another 59 kill FFA challenge gameplay. And I think this um this one is pretty crazy because I only called in one lethal kill streak once throughout like the entire two games. And that was um that was a Harry arc. I called that in once. Other than that, all the streaks that I called in throughout this 59 kill was um, UAV and counter UAV, you know, non-lethal, so for that pure fact, I think this gameplay is um, it's pretty crazy, and it's on underpass with the intervention as well, so yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this gameplay, it's, it is kind of long, but you know, I sped some parts up where it gets like really boring, but other than that, this gameplay, <laughs> it was quite lucky because when I got to the 29 kills, I I wasn't really sure if I wanted to back out or not, but for some reason I was feeling confident and, you know, it was on underpass, so I thought I'll give it a try. And luckily, towards the end of this gameplay, the person that was second or closest to me, or first or second in the at the end of the second game, he got disconnected. <laughs> so I was able to take the lead, but it was still, even then when I took the lead, it was still only by two kills, so... I still had to clutch up in the end, which which I did, and it was really sick. So, on that part, I <laughs> I would say yeah, but you never know. I, I still could have done it, but however, I kind of don't think I would have. But I don't know I, I, this gameplay is still really good, regardless, because like I said, I only caught in a Harrier once, only lethal, lethal kill streak. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be talking throughout the whole of this gameplay. We'll see how it goes. But um. A couple of things I wanted to talk about again is like FA and MWT FFA in general. Like I think I'm gonna be talking about like my opinion of um my opinion and standards for FFA clips. So I think now like now off the standards for clips in FFA have I felt a clip there. Um <laughs> I've kinda of been pushed up a little bit, like people starting to judge more of these FFA quad feeds because um, like, I don't think like, I think I think people don't like seeing FFA quad feeds now, unless it's like is there's a lot of turn-ons and stuff. But I think FFA quad feeds in MW2 or any, any non-BO2, if you get a quad feed, I think that's still usable. I believe because I think BO2 FFA quad feeds aren't usable unless it's like you get a load of turn-ons. It's really quick and maybe even a bit creative i think like just a reg bo2 ffa quad feed whatever that looks like is not usable for an episode like but i don't know if you get like and if it's if it is just literally four kills of a quad feed and there's like no turn ons and not quick and i'm not sure if that is usable i'm pretty sure it isn't people don't like to see that but i think if you get like a f a quad feed with like a five man total on black ops 2 ffa that is usable, I believe. It, honestly, it, it all depends how it looks, really. You know, if you're getting turn-ons, are you getting no scopes? Are you getting something a little bit different? You know, it, it, all, it all depends on that. Whether you're using iron sights, I guess, and all that. I think in MW2, a quad feed is usable. You know, again, it, it all depends how how it goes, how it went, how it looked. But um, yeah, I I still haven't really like hit a quad feed on, well not have but like I think I've hit like one maybe two quad feeds on MW2 three four, and they were like before I started playing MW2 FFA a lot. So I don't know how I've managed to pull off the 59 kill FFA challenge before getting like a quad feed. <laughs> I don't know how I do that. Weird. Always seem to choke or get just get mugged off clips and FFA and W2 but gonna keep going with it and keep going with it but um yeah like obviously you 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 hear you hear you will hear people say it a lot like knowing the spawns in FFA is how you get good at it but like I think people are often confused with that because People say they know the spawns, but in reality, they don't. They just kind of know the spawns. <laughs> so I don't think they've got it, but honestly, to know the spawns 
really, really well. It takes a long time. I, I wouldn't say that I know this one just really, really well. And then WTFA, knowing me, I just, I guess I just kind of know the spawns pretty well on some maps. Actually no, some maps I really do know the spawns. And some maps I just kind of know the spawns. Honestly, it, between knowing, like kind of knowing the spawns and knowing the spawns really well is it's a big difference and it, and it takes a long time to get between those two stages. So um, where are we at now? Oh yeah, we're in the second game. Oh, I've got six kills right here. There's a, there's a lot of opportunities where I could have had a clip, but didn't manage to get it. So um, yeah, I really hope you guys do enjoy this gameplay. 59 kills of Fafe, intervention, underpass. Only called in one lethal kill streak once with the Harrier. It's not like a Pavlo. <laughs> something godly like that um please drop a like and favorite comment oh, oh i love seeing all that support that i get when it's when it's a little bit different than most of my videos so yeah please drop support on this video and do it